Could something as simple as your grip strength reveal how long you'll live? The science says yes, and what it shows is shocking. Stick around because in this video I'll show you how grip strength predicts longevity and a simple exercise anyone can do to improve it. First, let's start with what grip strength is. Grip strength refers to how much force your hand can generate when squeezing something, like a grip tester or even just someone's hand during a handshake. It's controlled by the muscles in your hand, wrist, and forearm. And while it may not seem like a big deal, it's actually a powerful indicator of overall muscle strength. Now, why is grip strength so important? Over the years, researchers have found that grip strength isn't just about having a strong handshake or being able to open a stubborn jar. It's linked to your overall health, your muscle mass, your cardiovascular system, and even your nervous system. That's why scientists consider it a good indicator of your overall health. One of the most fascinating findings is that grip strength can predict longevity, that is, how long someone might live. But how does this connection work? To understand that, you need to take a closer look at how your muscles and overall health are connected. Muscle strength is an indicator of how well your body is functioning. As you age, you naturally lose muscle mass in a process called sarcopenia. This decline starts in the 30s and speeds up as you get older. The problem is that losing too much muscle can make it harder to stay active, recover from illnesses, and maintain independence in daily life. Grip strength is a quick way to check how strong and functional your muscles are without needing expensive or complicated tests. If your grip strength is good, it usually means your muscles are in good shape and your body is functioning well. If it's weak, it could be a sign that your health is declining or that you're at risk for certain diseases. Now, you might be thinking, okay, but how can squeezing something tell me how long I'll live? Well, the link between grip strength and longevity became clear through a series of studies. One study, published in The Lancet, followed nearly 140,000 people from 17 countries over four years. Researchers found that weaker grip strength was strongly associated with a higher risk of death from any cause, including heart attacks and strokes. Specifically, every 5 kilogram decline in grip strength was linked to a 16% higher risk of death from any cause. This correlation persisted even after considering factors like age, lifestyle, and socioeconomic status. In fact, grip strength turned out to be an even better predictor of death than blood pressure. We all know how important it is to monitor blood pressure because it's a major risk factor for heart attacks and strokes. But this study suggested that grip strength might tell us even more about the body's overall resilience. Another theory links grip strength to cardiovascular health. Stronger muscles require a healthy flow of blood and oxygen to function well. If your grip is weak, it might mean your cardiovascular system isn't operating at its best. Poor blood flow can affect everything from heart function to brain health. Studies have found that people with stronger grip strength tend to perform better on cognitive tests. This might be because physical strength and brain health are closely linked through things like blood flow and nerve function. And then there's the role of the nervous system. A strong grip requires clear communication between your brain and your muscles. If your grip strength is lower than expected, it could indicate problems with your nervous system, such as slower reflexes or a loss of coordination, both of which are linked to aging and certain health conditions. Another 2018 study published in JAMA Network analyzed data from over 8,000 adults in the United States, revealing a strong connection between grip strength and functional health. The researchers found that people with weaker grip strength were more likely to experience mobility issues, develop chronic illnesses, or require assistance with daily activities. The weaker grip strength was associated with a higher risk of disability, particularly in tasks like walking or climbing stairs. This study highlights the importance of maintaining strength as a key factor in aging well and preventing physical limitations. Researchers have also looked at grip strength as a predictor of recovery. For example, studies have found that hospital patients with stronger grip strength tend to recover faster from surgeries and illnesses than those with weaker grip strength. This makes sense because stronger muscles generally mean better overall resilience and a stronger immune system. Another major study published in the BMJ looked at the grip strength of over 500,000 people between the ages of 40 and 69. It found that weaker grip strength was connected to higher chances of heart disease disease, respiratory conditions, and cancer. For men, having a grip strength below 57 pounds, and for women, below 35 pounds, 
was linked to a higher risk of dying sooner. This shows that grip strength can be a useful sign of overall muscle health and how well the body can handle aging. Now let's see how this test is done. Most researchers and doctors use a device called a hand dynamometer. You squeeze it as hard as you can and it measures the amount of force you produce, usually in kilograms or pounds. It's quick, painless, and doesn't require any fancy equipment beyond the dynamometer itself. For adults to early 30s and then slowly declines as you age. It's also worth noting that grip strength varies by gender, age, and even culture. Men typically have stronger grips than women because they naturally have more muscle mass. Dr. Peter Atia, a longevity doctor, recommends the dead hang as an exercise to improve and measure grip strength. According to him, you should aim to be able to dead hang from a bar for about one to two minutes, depending on your age and gender. You may only be able to hang for a few seconds on your first try, but you should keep practicing this exercise daily until you reach that one to two minute dead hang goal. Improving your grip strength is all about building muscle in your forearms and fingers and staying active consistently. Aside from dead hanging, you should consider weightlifting, rock climbing, and even squeezing a stress ball as those can also help. Even simple exercises like carrying grocery bags or doing push-ups can make a difference over time. Another important factor is your diet. Protein is very, very important for building and maintaining muscle. So make sure you're getting enough through foods like lean meats, fish, eggs, beans, and nuts. Of course, like any test, grip strength isn't perfect. It's just one piece of the whole picture when it comes to assessing your health. Other lifestyle factors like diet, exercise, sleep, and stress management play huge roles as well. But what makes it so valuable is how simple and non-invasive it is. You don't need to fast, give blood, or undergo expensive imaging tests to get an idea of your grip strength. By paying attention to it, you might be able to catch potential health problems early and take steps to address them. That's it. Thanks for watching.